Hey everyone, this is James Braithwaite at Braithwaite Physiotherapy here in Toronto and we're going to do today another video in our series on stability, joint stability. And last time of course we got started with uh, an exercise to help you work on putting your shoulder joint into a stable position and that was that tucking into the shoulder blade, the out turning of your underarm to centralize that ball in the socket and really um, um, activate the muscles that help to stabilize the shoulder. So what we're going to do to do today is uh, take that um, up a little bit into the neck and we're going to work on activating the muscles of your neck and we're going to give you a uh, simple exercise that you can work on and maybe a progression that you can do when you find that easy and it's fun and it makes your posture better and it makes you more athletically apt and it's just amazing in every way so let's do that. Um, so let's let's have a lie down on the table because uh, we're going to start out with um, with a simple on the table activity so just come right up here and um, uh, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to figure out a way to activate our deep neck flexors which are a group of small muscles deep into the neck that help to stabilize the joints, uh, the vertebrae of the, of the neck. Um, and you activate them by doing a chin tuck act, uh, action like this, right? So I call it giving yourself the old double chin. Um, it feels like that. It does not look like that. So for everyone who says, I don't want to give myself a double chin, don't worry about it. It only feels that way. It definitely doesn't look that way. So as I tuck my chin in, um, I'll be activating those muscles deep inside uh, the neck um, that will help to stabilize those vertebral segments. And I'm going to get you to start this the first time you ever try it, lying down on your bed, couch, ground, whatever it is that you're nearby. So as I do my double chin, look like that, I'm just going to double check that I'm not activating um, the non-stabilizing muscles of my neck. So at every joint, including um, the vertebra of your neck, you have some muscles whose job it is to stabilize and some muscles whose job it is to move, right? Those are called global movers. The stabilizers are not your global movers. So um, we'll know uh, that we're not activating our global movers by placing our fingers on the front aspect of our neck right over the collarbone here. And when I do my double chin, I shouldn't feel any tension where my fingers are. However, if I go into a m big movement pattern like lifting my neck up like that, I'll feel those big movers activate and you can probably see them activated on me too. Here, here, that's my sternocleidomastoid muscle. So if those are on, I'm doing it wrong. So relax again, make those muscles soft, do the chin tuck and they should still be soft. If you can achieve that, you know that you're doing it right, okay? So you're starting there. You're gonna hold that chin tuck for 10 seconds, all right? See so if you can hold that for 10 seconds at a time. Once you've done that, you're going to bring it up into the upright position like this, and you're gonna try the same thing. So chin tuck, making sure that I'm uh, non-activated right here, and, um, and uh, this is slightly more challenging progression to do it in an upright position versus a lying down position. If you really want to impress everyone, and of course we always do, you're going to get into a standing up position and you can start to do uh, activities in the periphery, in the arms, while you're, um, while you're adopting your neck, your chin tuck. So here we go, I'm going to put my chin tuck on, just like so. I'm going to make sure that everything feels good in there. And then I'm going to get my arms out to the side and I'm going to start to flutter, like this. I'm going to flutter, I'm going to have my thumbs facing forward. And I'm going to do 30 of those and then I'm going to point my thumbs up. I'm going to do 30 of those, all while maintaining that chin tuck position. So I'm still going with my flutter, and I'm going to turn my thumbs back, which will, the, the thumb positioning just, it um, changes the major muscle groups that are active in producing the flutter motion, right? Actually, it, it, it biases muscle groups in your back. Um, so all it does is it, it, it creates a, a different uh, challenge um, to your system in maintaining that deep neck flexion um, a action on. Um, and again, that's another progression. So all we're doing here is we're adding environmental noise. When you're lying down and activating those deep neck flexors, it's easy, right? Because there's nothing else going on. When you're sitting up, you at least have to hold your body against gravity and then activate those deep neck flexors, which makes life a little bit more difficult. And then when you start to add in the, uh, the arm activity, the peripheral activity, that just ramps up the environmental noise a little bit more and just makes it a little bit more challenging to hold your chin tuck position, right? So one nice thing about this chin tuck is that it, it, it dovetails really nicely with the shoulder blade tuck that we practiced last time. So um, if you've been practicing that since the last video, what I would ask you to try this time is to turn on your shoulder blade tuck and now turn on your chin tuck and all of a sudden you're rocking pretty good posture, right? 
That's a pretty good way to operate in life. So, chin tuck, shoulder blade tuck. You can practice the chin tuck using the exercises as described here. And then you can continue to practice your shoulder blade uh, tucking as well. Everything's going to be amazing with your posture and your stability. And we're going to build on this again in the next video. So hopefully you're enjoying this series on joint stability and learning how to stabilize your joints in, in life and in exercise and, and all over. So have fun with that. If you have questions about this or anything else physiotherapy related, please do not hesitate to contact me. I love, love hearing from you. So uh, we will leave it at that and I will look forward to talking with you again next time. I'm James Braithwaite of Braithwaite Physiotherapy.